Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I'm gonna to be going through my house and doing some spring cleaning and sharing with you guys how I like to clean my home more safe and naturally and just certain things that I like to deep clean for the new season. I think this is a really great time to do some extra cleaning to help disinfect your home, making it a safer, cleaner space to be in, especially since it seems like we're all being at home a little bit more this season and I really just want to give you guys some ideas on what you can do at home that's safe easy and effective so without further ado let's hop right into the video and let's do some spring cleaning so I sectioned out my spring cleaning by room I started off with the living room now this is something I don't just do during spring cleaning I think we do this weekly is give the couch a good vacuum if you have a dog and your dog likes to shed like cashew this is essential, getting all that dog hair off the couch. I laugh at the days where we said that we weren't gonna let our dog on the couch, but I don't regret it at all. It's like the best thing ever, but there is a lot of dog hair that ends up on the couch. I love this vacuum, A, because it's cordless, but also it has some really great attachments. I will link it down below as well as everything that I'm using to clean, as well as everything that I'm using to deep clean my home. I've done a lot of research about the different tools that I've purchased over the years, and these are things that I swear by. Next up, I'm using my fabric cleaner. This is one by Bissell and I love this one. I just fill it up with some hot water. I add in a cap full of my Thieves household cleaner, which is all natural and it uses a really great blend of essential oils, so it's non-toxic. You don't have to worry about any nasty cleaners. It does come with a cleaner, I just don't use that one, I just use my own stuff. I love this one because you spray, you scrub, and then you just suck up all that water, and it really does deep clean any fabrics, so things like cushions, chairs or couches or rugs, even a dog bed, this little tool is really awesome and it's pretty affordable. I've used it so many times on my couch. I've had friends borrow it and they, everyone's amazed by how well this little tool cleans. The only thing I wish it did was heat up the water. So you actually have to put hot water in it from the tap, not boiling water. And then that way you get that deep clean from the hot water. I'm sure if I bought one that actually heats up, it would have been way more expensive. So this is a great affordable option. The best part, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of gross, but it's seeing the dirty water when you're done. It's so satisfying. And I'm gonna show you guys what came out of my couch. And I do this quite regularly and it still gets so dirty. And if you're worried about your couch being soaking wet afterwards, it only takes a few hours to completely dry, which I love. Um, because of the suction, you actually get up a lot of the water. Look, you can already see that nasty water in the second like cylinder. It's so satisfying, but like still kind of gross. Are you ready for it? Ew, <laughs> so gross. That was on our couch. It's so satisfying just seeing all of that dirt and grime pour out in down the drain and know that it's no longer sitting on my couch. I'm stripping Cashew's bed, AKA the ottoman. We have a blanket over top, so I just like to wash that every now and then. And then I'm also just doing the same thing, vacuum and using the fabric cleaner for the ottoman. This is where she hangs out the most, so I just like to really give this a deep clean. Next up on my to-do list was to finally clean this carpet. I'm laughing because we were struggling to move this couch. Chloe does not have really any muscles, so it was a bit of a struggle, but we got it off and I gave the carpet a really good vacuum. Now, when I got this white carpet, everyone was like, why are you getting white carpet? It's not gonna stay clean, especially with a doggy. Honestly, it's been really easy to keep this clean. I will link this carpet down below, I love it. Um, but it's been, yeah, really easy to vacuum even though it is kind of like a semi shake rug and it stayed pretty white. Even when we removed the couch off of it, there wasn't a distinct line of where the couch started and ended. Um, so I still wanted to give it a really good deep clean. I have spilt some red wine on it before and I'm telling you, this fabric cleaner got it right out. It was magical. Be sure to check out the blog post because I'm gonna have a full downloadable checklist so you can have it as a guide for when cleaning your home and going room by room. 
Next up was Cashew's toy box. So she has way too many toys. You guys know we have an online pup shop, healthnutpup.com. If you have a dog or a friend with a dog, we have some really great things on there. I'll link it down below and Cashew is spoiled. So I wanted just to take everything out, give her toy box a really good clean. By the way, I love this toy box. I ordered it off Etsy. It's handmade, it's very durable, and it's not only functional for Cashew, but it looks really aesthetically pleasing next to our fireplace. So I threw all of her toys in her blanket and I just threw them all in the wash and they smelled so good when they came out. But Cashew just had way too many so I wanted to get rid of some and donate them to another doggy friend. If you are gonna wash your dog's toys, make sure to use a gentle, non-toxic laundry soap. So for the rest of the floors, Matt actually turned on his robots. He's freaking obsessed with these. Is That's an understatement. Every time we leave the house for a hike or doing errands, he has these guys running and they are quite handy. We have them going pretty much every day. We have one that's just a vacuum, AKA Wally. We've had him for years. And then the white one, I don't know if we have a name for him yet. Do we have a name, Matt? No, we don't have a name. Um, but he not only Swiffers, but he also has a little sprayer and he does a really good job. It picks up the dog hair, it picks up any dirt or grime, and it makes our hardwood floors look so good without any effort on our part. So while that's going, I'm gonna tackle the front entryway. So not only am I cleaning it, I'm doing a little bit of some redecoration I've been wanting to do just to freshen up the space. So I have this shoe rack here, which honestly it is functional, but I just feel like it's such an eyesore to have right in the entryway. Also that's RIP, that's my shoe that Cashew chewed, bad dog. I didn't even get to wear them, it was very sad. So I'm just taking all the shoes off, <laughs> Cashew's cameo. And then I'm just bringing this shoe rack downstairs. We kind of store a lot of our shoes downstairs on shoe racks. I'm giving these winter rugs just a vacuum before I store them away for the spring and summertime. I think Matt just got these from Home Depot. They are really handy, especially for all the mud and the snow and the salt that comes in during the winter time. But they're just not my favorite color. They're just like really dark and dingy and I wanted to freshen up the area. I gave the floors a good vacuum. Like I said, I cannot recommend a cordless vacuum cleaner enough. This thing is the best. It just makes me want to vacuum, even though I hate to vacuum. So I'm using my all-purpose cleaner that I made myself. It's really easy. I'm gonna have all of my DIY cleaning recipes over on my blog. A link will be down below. But this is a great non-toxic cleaner I can use all over my home. So I'm just giving like the window and the door just like a quick scrub, trying to get any marks off the walls. Just like all those nooks and crannies that you don't think of during your regular cleaning, I like to just go that extra mile when I'm spring cleaning. So we recently got this really cute bench slash storage unit from Target, it was actually on clearance. There was still the price tag right in the front, which can be a pain to take off because it leaves that sticky residue. So instead of using something like Goo Gone, which is obviously not very non-toxic, you can just use lemon essential oil to take off any sticky residue, it works like a charm. I also have a free cheat sheet on cleaning with essential oils with all of my recipes. I will have that link down below. It's a free downloadable. I'm just doing the baseboards and then I'm gonna give the tiles a deep steam. So I have my steam cleaner. This by far is my favorite cleaning tool. I just added a cap full of my Thieves household cleaner to the water just for an extra deep clean. You can also just add essential oils to the fabric part itself. I love this because it's just using hot water to really deep clean and disinfect the space. Also smells great when you use essential oils. And the best part is that it's eco-friendly because you're not using any harsh chemicals and the actual fabric part that you're scrubbing the floors with is machine washable. So you can buy extra replacements and just rotate them. I just love when cleaning products don't have waste. I'm giving the stairs a good clean. They get so dirty from Cashew's hair. So I'm just getting around all the banisters and making sure everything is nice and clean. doing the same thing to the stairs. So this steamer actually works really great on tiles, on wood floors, on laminate, it has different settings. So you can do like a light dust, a mop or a scrub. 
And like I said, it just really helps disinfect any dirt and grime. And when you use essential oils with it, it smells so good without using any artificial fragrances or cleaners. I love that. So I got a new rug for the front entryway. This was just from Ikea. I'll link it down below if I can find a link. It's just made from a natural jute fabric. And then I also had this really cute plant pot that I got, I think from Marshalls a little while ago. So I added a plant inside of it just to brighten up the space and it just adds so much freshness and lightness to the front entryway. It really transforms the space. Next on the list is the bedroom. I just finished washing our new bed sheets. So I'm just stripping the bed, taking off the current white sheets. I just want to switch it up. I love having white sheets and they're great because you can just wash them in hot water and get out any stains or bleach them if you really need to. Um, but I just wanted to switch it up for something a little bit more springy. Cashew always likes to get on the bed every time I'm trying to make it or wash it. She's always curious on what's happening. I'm not gonna lie, she makes every activity that much more fun, even laundry. By the way, if you're not following Cashew on her Instagram, it's Cashew the Boxer. She's got some really cute photos on there and I usually will share some Insta stories of what she's up to day to day. So these new sheets I got are kind of like a blush pink. Matt has approved them, Chloe asked me that. Yes, they're not too pinky, they're very neutral and I think they're just like a fun switch up from the white. And after sleeping in them for a few nights already, they're very soft and comfortable, highly recommend them. I will also link these down below. Cashew in the background is just making me laugh. Also, in case you're wondering, I have pillow protectors on all of our pillows. I just got these from Ikea. They were really cheap. Highly recommend them. If your pillows get yellow and stained from like sweat and stuff from sleeping, these are great because it doesn't ruin your pillows. You can just wash the protectors instead of having to buy new pillows all the time. I get a lot of questions about my duvet set. It was on clearance at West Elm. I don't know if they have it still. If not, I'll find something that's kind of similar to it. And then I got these new, very springy pillows, also from Marshalls. I liked them because they're actually filled with recyclable material, which is really cool. Next up is the furniture. So I just like to take everything off. I'm giving a wipe down with my all-purpose cleaner. Once we invested in good quality furniture for our bedroom, I really wanted to make sure that I was taking care of it. So cleaning it with things that aren't too harsh are gonna help nourish and protect your furniture. So I've actually made this DIY wood cleaner and polisher. The stuff is so hydrating for your wood. It gives it a really nice shine, but it also helps give it a good deep clean made with two simple ingredients. The recipe will be on my blog post, link down below. This stuff is really awesome. I've already used it all over my home. You'll see it later when I use it on my kitchen dining table and it works like a charm. I also ended up using it on this little wooden orb ball and look at how shiny it makes it. I swear it's still this shiny and it just gives everything a really nice gleam like it looks like a bowling ball it's so shiny but i will say after a few weeks of using it it's not greasy afterwards like the wood really just soaks it up and it just gives it a good protectant once i'm done cleaning a room i like to finish it off with diffusing some oils so i'm just doing a mixture of orange and peppermint oil this is a really nice fresh combination the other thing too about diffusing oils not only does it help make you feel really nice but it also helps to clean the air All right, now we are in the kitchen. So I'm actually gonna give my dishwasher a deep clean. This is something I do all the time and I wanted to share it with you guys. First thing I do is sprinkle the bottom with a bunch of baking soda and then I mist it with some white vinegar. And then I have one of my micro scrubbers. We sell this on the Health Nut Shop. This gadget is so handy. It's like, it's like a toothbrush on steroids. If you think a toothbrush is great for cleaning, you need this little little but very heavy duty scrubber. So I'm giving it a really good scrub down. It was actually disgusting to see what was actually coming off of it and around the door. So if you think your dishwasher is clean, make sure to actually look closer and give it a good scrub. 
Next is something I've been doing forever. I just take a glass cup and I fill it with some white vinegar. I did half a cup here, but something new I've been doing is adding essential oils. I did lemon and thieves and I just do a couple of drops and then I put that on the top rack and then I just do a regular cycle. So what happens is once your dishwasher starts to clean, the vinegar is gonna disperse throughout the dishwasher, mix with the baking soda at the bottom and the essential oils will help clean and disinfect and make everything smell nice. And my dishwasher never smells or looks cleaner than when I do this. Next up is my nasty sink. I promise I actually do clean this on a regular basis. I don't know how it got this disgusting, but I'm sure I'm not alone. So I wanted to actually show you guys the before and after. So I'm throwing on some gloves because I like to protect my hands. Even if I'm using non-toxic products, I just don't want to dry them out. I'm sprinkling some baking soda all over. I use baking soda a lot for cleaning. So I get the jumbo packs, which I'll try to find and link down below. It is one of the best natural cleaners and there's so many ways to use it. I'm then just dabbing on some dish soap. You can use any dish soap that you like. And then I'm using one of these walnut scrubbers. This is actually made from walnut shell. It's really cool. So it's a little bit eco-friendly and I'm just gonna put some elbow grease into it and give my sink a really good scrub and polish. This combination of the dish soap and the baking soda just completely lifts off all of those stains and that dirt and grime. And then I'm using that little scrubber that I mentioned before to really deep clean any nooks and crannies and around the drain part, I feel like you just need an extra bit of scrubbing power, which this tool is amazing for. It's also really great to use around the faucet. In case you didn't know, we have a whole clean home section on our wellness shop, healthnutshop.com. And pretty much everything we sell is made from recycled products. It's eco-friendly, so you can feel good about using these products in your home and just helping the environment one step at a time or one clean sink at a time. Also right now for a limited time, we're having a huge spring cleaning sale for 20% off our entire clean home section. Check the link down below. Just giving everything a good rinse with some hot water. And then just wiping it down with a dry cloth. I'm even amazed at the before and after. My sink looks so shiny and brand new and sometimes you'll still have a bit of residue from the baking soda but that will just rinse off as you're doing your dishes um, but it's just night and day when I do this. Another little trick I like to do with once again baking soda is I just fill up a little mason jar with some baking soda and then I add a few drops of some nice essential oil in this case I'm using lemon something that smells really fresh and that's pretty neutral and I just stick this in my fridge and it's just a very natural DIY smell absorber so when you open your fridge it doesn't smell like all these funky smells and your food stays nice and fresh and it's just an easy way to clean and keep any smells at bay in the fridge. Next up is my dining table, which I'm just removing everything and giving it a good clean with the all-purpose cleaner. I'm also using one of these cellulose cleaning sponges. These are great because they're actually biodegradable. They come in a pack of different colors. They're just really easy to wash and reuse. I'm using that same wood cleaner slash polisher and I'm just gonna give the table a really nice shine. Wood furniture can easily dry out and look dull over time. So doing this extra step really helps to nourish and protect the surfaces. We're moving into the bathroom. Once again, starting off with my baking soda, I'm making this heavy duty tile and grout cleaner. So you start with baking soda, a few capfuls of the Thieves household cleaner, which is a heavy duty power cleaner, and then a few drops of lemon essential oil. Give it a good stir until everything is really creamy smooth. I feel like I'm making pancake batter right now. The texture of this is gonna be very pillowy soft and a little does really go a long way, but you're just gonna pick up either an old toothbrush or one of these scrubbers, and you're just gonna go to town on any dirty grout or tiles that are just looking a little discolored. Mine actually look really good because I recently already did a deep clean. Actually, I did this maybe over a month ago on Instagram stories. I showed you guys the before and the after, and it was so crazy, the transformation. So I will pop some of those Insta stories here. 
Um, but then what I like to do is give it a good scrub and then finish off with a spray of white vinegar and it helps activate the baking soda that's in the cleaner. And then I just rinse it off and I give it a good squeegee to make sure it's nice and dry and your shower is never gonna look this great. I promise this cleaner works so good. Another trick I highly recommend if you get a lot of clogged drains like I do is using one of these shroom tub pluggers. I forgot the actual name. I'll link it down below. It catches everything and all you have to do is clean it every week and you don't have to worry about any clogged drains. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to sign up to our shop's email list. A link will be down below. We're gonna be sending out some extra freebie content, some cleaning tips on how to naturally clean your home, plus a couple of other things. So stay tuned for that. As well as, as I mentioned, we are having a 20% off all of our spring home cleaning items on healthnutshop.com, which you guys can check out down below. It's only gonna be going on for a limited time. So definitely stock up. These items are eco-friendly and they are, are just going to really help you with your cleaning game in your home. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a future video. Link will be down below. I will see you guys in my next one. Happy spring cleaning and happy vibes and stay healthy everyone. Bye guys.